Hello there my fellow Holotable Heroes and welcome to another Galactic Challenge video. Before I get to it, let me first apologize uh, for a bit delay on the video. I was just out hiking all day in Havgas Gorge. Uh, so I was offline really most of the day. I didn't really climb in Fleet Arena. I didn't do my Grand Arena yet. I'm hungry. Before I get to dinner, I cannot simply miss out on the Tuscan Monday. So I'm just quickly uh, pushing this video out, showing you how I quickly and easily got max rewards. You just have to get the starting sequence right and you should be good to go. So let me show you uh, what's happening. The beauty of chapters below as always, uh, just to show you the battles I've done. So you've got uh, battle number one will be my Tuscan squad taking these guys out and then a second one I'll be sending in my Imperial Troopers for a quick and easy eight turns in a row. So you can skip through if you want. But otherwise, let's have a look at the modifier for Camino Proving Ground. So this modifier will totally nerf everybody. You lose lots of health, lots of protection, lots of offense, lots of defense, critical chance and so on. Now we do get superior training uh, ability to use, so whenever we use it, we do gain some of those stats back. So this will allow, you know, even your squisher characters to maybe survive. But on the other side, if you let the battle go for too long, the enemies might get too tanky. But luckily, we'll be able to knock these guys out very, very quickly, as you will see before this really takes play. Now, Task and Ambush, brilliant modifier, does so many things. I just want to highlight the key thing only for today's challenge, which is this one. If Taunty dispelled during the enemy's turn, Task and Alliance gain 15 stacks of momentum, which is important to get 15 stacks. And then their cooldowns don't refresh, and most importantly, they gain 100% turn meter. So this will allow us, in beginning, dispel the taunt then Treya will go um, dispel our taunt and then we'll get 15 stacks of momentum everybody will get 100% turn meter then we'll just be able to knock Treya out before she gets to do anything else so that's why it's really important to highlight this particular bit of the modifier otherwise a lot of other things happening here now in terms of the enemy modifier, I'm not sure what happened. Uh, it used to be Grim Machinations, right? The modifier for safe, so this is the Cruel Conspiracies. Um, reading it, I'm not sure exactly what the difference is. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you do. It seems like it does a similar thing. So whenever a Sith ally is defeated, they gain some bonuses. Or whenever they defeat an enemy, they get some bonuses as well. So not a great modifier to be honest, because until somebody is defeated, they don't really get any benefit uh, whatsoever, to be honest. Modifiers. It's a Tuscan challenge, so obviously you have to win with a full team of Tuscan units. Gain momentum 150 times. And then finally win after taking 8 turns in a row. Again, probably many ways to do this. Just troopers are quick and easy thing, because as soon as you get that kill out, you know, you're rolling here with Terminator train like crazy. As mentioned before, I'll do my Tuscans first, so let me show you the mods. Uh, now, I didn't remote Chieftain, these are just the mods I have on him at all times. He's, uh, what, uh, 4 stars now, gear rate. Uh, I did now actually the other Tuscans, I did mod them for speed, just so we can get a jump start on the enemy. Um, but probably, maybe not even don't need them that fast, I'm not sure. And then Tuscan Warrior uh, is very important, you will need Zeta here on her uh, finishing strikes, because once we have 15 stacks or more, this uh, attack will also deal massive damage. And remember the uh, modifier for Tuscans? Whenever Taunt is dispelled, how many stacks of momentum we get? Were you paying attention? 15. And that's exactly how many we need to just knock Treya out before she gets too tanky and too durable. So definitely Tuscan Warrior, key piece here, just to get the play started to begin with. Let's hop in the battle and let me show you how actually straightforward this one was. Uh, so just first, um, Uror goes first, that's why you need speed on these guys. Booster meter to everybody. I'm just gonna use superior training with everybody just to gain some stats back, except uh, with Warrior, gonna use the middle ability which will dispel buffs on all the enemy, which means taunt is gone. And I'll try a dispel taunt on my guys, so we get 100% turn meter, 15 stacks of momentum, and now all you gotta do is just knock her out with a special attack from warrior and this is it before she gets too tanky to get to do anything i tried this multiple times this starting uh, sequence as long as treya for her first ability uses isolate she will remove her meter if she has any other ability this won't work restart try again and from here on out things are straightforward without treya these guys can't dispel debuffs from themselves 
Um, so either you know you will kill them off one by one, otherwise damage over time can get to them. Uh, you can stun them, you can do all kinds of stuff uh, except Darth Revan. But anyway, luckily Darth Revan does have ambush on him to begin with. He's the weakest one, so you just keep hitting him, keep gaining that stacks of momentum, and then whenever the other guys hit you, they get stunned. Knock Revan out again, massive damage there uh, with the warrior. Warrior's down, doesn't matter. She did her job by knocking Trey out, and these guys can now carry the rest of the way. Obviously, if Warrior will still be alive, this battle will be a little bit quicker because you can keep using uh, her there. A big, massive damage hit. Also, when you do the drink ability here uh, with the Tuscan. Uh, bye, Chief. Uh, with Tus Tuscan Chief, then he actually as well reduces cooldowns also. Uh, so, that's another great way. But for now, just gonna finish these guys off. Uh, in terms of relics, my guys are relic 5, but I would imagine maybe gear 12 would be enough to now finish off these guys. Because see that massive damage in beginning with uh, Warrior to take out Treya, to take out Darth Revan was key. Now the rest, you know, it's a pretty straightforward affair. Assassin, a little bit annoying, but we'll take her out eventually. Again, without Treya, they don't, can't really cleanse themselves, so we can keep them stun locked and things like that. Couple of more hits. Sif Assassin goes down and this completed for me Tuscan feat as well as Momentum feat which leaves me only with more, one more feat to unlock max rewards and that's 8 turns in a row. Uh, probably many ways to do this, uh, I just thought you know what let's just chuck troopers in, see what happens because they're kind of a good team for that. Luckily enemy slow, we get our buffs going, I'm going to, that's why I brought in Stark so I can dispel there the pre-taunt on Sif Trooper. Now we can just go after Treya, just keep going after her, all out, again, same as with Tuscan, Treya's down, these guys just become sitting ducks, I'm just gonna go punch my way through uh, uh, through all of them, let's go ahead and actually take care of Sif and Power Trooper, because he would taunt anyways, get him down, uh, stuck after Sion, just keep going after him, one hit, he down also, and now it's just a case of finishing off Lone Dark Revan, which shouldn't be really a challenge for these. Imperial Troopers, one more hit, oh, come on, there we go, Dark Trooper, finishing them off very quickly, very easily, enemy didn't get a turn, I'm pretty sure I got more than 8 turns here, so definitely very quickly and easily completing here, the final feat to unlock max rewards, and that's it guys, uh, very said, very quick video, um, I'm very hungry, I was, as mentioned before, I was out all day, I'm about to uh, go to dinner, but before I did, I'm like, you know what, I really 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 do not want, did not want to miss here uh, Tuscan Monday and because it was an easy and straightforward challenge I said you know what might as well knock this video out so hopefully obviously it was useful and helpful as always let me know in comments below but otherwise have fun enjoy your life and may the RNG be with you my friends